you doing? Warning! Keep back! Come on, think this through! Damn, do something! Shut up! Shut up! Tell us, Doctor, what's out there? What did this to him? Tro... They're called Trodon Pectinodon. They were meant to be euthanized, but... What? You let them out? No, no! I kept them in quarantine for study. They... I thought they may have been leaving the pen somehow, but I wasn't certain. We knew about those damn creatures all along. While we were out there, exposed, humping around like idiots looking for our pilot. Billy, wait! We were nearly killed by one of our own men. Probably bitten by one of those things, just like Decaf. Who knows where his catatonic body is now? Both our teams are dead. Oscar's dead! All because of your dinosaurs, all because of you! Those things are standing between us and survival. You are about to kill the only person who knows anything about them. Jerry knows a little now. We don't need her anymore. Anyway, this witch is a liar. She's lied to all of us. Put me in the direct line of danger to protect her agenda and her precious freak show. What else is she hiding? Please, if I knew sooner, oh, I... Shut it. Yes, she lied to all of us, but she also helped when she could. Nima is alive because of She could have warned us! I wasn't entirely sure yet. For all I knew, she could have gotten into the quarantine pens. Oh, so what, I'm the enemy? I'm the bad guy here? I'm just trying to open your eyes! I'm trying to show you the truth and bring someone to account for it! You don't want to be the bad guy here, but that's where you're heading. You don't want to go down that road, right? Oh, come on! This isn't on me! It's time for her to take responsibility! Just it, Billy. She's not the one responsible. This falls on the shoulders of Hammond and Ingen, and now we're all suffering for it. Still! Billy, let her go. We need every able mind and body we can get. All she has to say is it's my fault. It's my fault. Come on, Doc, let me hear it. No, it wasn't. Say it! It's... it's m my fault. There. It wasn't so difficult, was it? Your friends may have saved you here. At least I got the truth out of you. You want her alive? You got it. <sighs> just mark my words. She will save just one of those animals before she lifts a finger to help you. Now, everyone make themselves useful. I've got to tend to decap. We can't stay here long. Let's just give Billy a minute and see if we can find anything useful. A way out, even. Okay. We'll do a sweep of the room and check in when we're done. Agreed? Huele excremento. I think they're empty. They're still heavy, though. I don't see anything. Maybe it's clear. Locked. I don't want to get stuck in a vent with a dinosaur. Besides, there's blood everywhere. Ow! Hot! A flare kit. This might come in handy. What about this grate? It looks big enough for everyone. And it looks like it's heading in the right direction. Are you okay? Jess, Han, leave him alone. Just great. It's locked. Anyone happen to have a key?
We should cover decaf. I don't want Jess to see this. Yeah. Leave the door alone. We're not going back out that way. Why not? Because we aren't backtracking, and those damn creatures could still be out there. Maybe we should get going. Are you sure? Yeah, if you're ready, Billy. Did you find something? No, nothing. Is everyone ready? What about decaf? I took care of that. It looked like you took something off him. And if he has something that will help us... I didn't find anything. I took his dog tags. Insurance doesn't pay out to his family unless his dog tags are returned. Satisfied? Right. Sorry for pushing. Should we bring him with us? Why bother? He's already buried. Look, I know where his body is. We're not equipped to transport it. Hopefully, we can retrieve his remains when this is all over. All right, listen up. Everything that just happened, bygones, understand? Doc, tell me again about the phones. Um, according to the terminal in my lab, the marine exhibit phones are still connected to the transceiver. The visitor center phones Too are- Too far away, okay? And we can get to the exhibit through the tunnels? They're all interconnected. I think I can still find- The answer is yes. Thank you. All right, we all have the same priorities here now. We get to this marine exhibit and find the phone. We get another chopper in the air to lift us out from there. How are we gonna get there? Trodon could still be out there. We aren't equipped to treat any more bites. We have to- Shh. I will not be shushed. The door. Oh no. They're coming through the vent! Going past the door. <laughs> Terry, get that grate open. I'm on it. I need something to break the lock. We'll break that something. I know! I know! No, not that. Heads 
stop. feet underground. I have no idea where we are. Well, we can't just sit around with our thumbs up our butts. I, I don't hear them anymore. Their behavior seemed territorial. Maybe we're far enough away from the nest that they gave up on us. We might have outpaced them, but we're not exactly in a secure location. Which way are we heading, Doc? Um, look over here. Can you read these? Maybe. If I can find... Yes. Yes. Okay. We're at a four-way intersection. There are only four such intersections on the plan. Let me just cross-reference these detail labels. Okay, we just have to figure out which intersection we're at. Look around the corridors for any distinguishing features. I'll see if I can eliminate possibilities. Maybe I can help with the plans. They look pretty simple. Big yellow pipe going down the left wall. It crosses over the ceiling part way down the corridor. It looks like the corridor ends in a T intersection. There's a big yellow pipe going down the left wall. It crosses over the ceiling part way down the corridor. There's a ladder on the right and on the far wall at the end. I see some sort of water tanks at the end of the hall.
There are these two big electrical boxes of some kind on the right. There's a big yellow pipe that goes down a bit on the left and then crosses over to the other side. The tunnel goes straight and then turns to the right. I see two ladders along the left of the tunnel. There's a big yellow pipe that goes down the left wall and into the floor. There's a set of water tanks partway down the corridor on the right. This tunnel only goes down a few dozen yards to a dead end. I see one ladder at the end of the hallway. Okay, these symbols are access ladders. These thick lines represent large pipes. The circles are water tanks. And these boxes with the crosses in them are power relays or transformers. Does that help any? Not on its own, but I can tell that the different intersections seem to have some small inconsistencies in layout. Big yellow pipe going down the left wall. It crosses over the ceiling part way down the corridor. There's a ladder on the right and on the far wall at the end. Big yellow pipe that goes down the left wall and into the floor. This tunnel only goes down a few dozen yards to a dead end. I see one ladder at the end of the hallway. There's a set of water tanks part way down the corridor on the right. two ladders along the left of the tunnel. Could be here. I guess they all kind of look the same. We could be here. I guess they all kind of look the same. I'm just gonna cross this one off. Okay, I hope you're right. What do you think, Jess? Probably not this one? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think it's this one. How can you keep them all straight? Okay, everyone, I think I've got it. Are you sure? I'm positive. We must be here. It's the only one that completely matches our surroundings. Okay, here we are. The desalination plant is here. We're not that far. No, we follow this route here. 
We follow any water mains at junctions in the direction of convergence. Even still, there's barely any turns. Look, just memorize this route. down there i have to go find her what? back down there with those monsters no jerry she needs you safe jess is a strong and resourceful girl she's doing like we are doing surviving you can't know that i won't leave her to those animals jerry look at me if we go back down there we won't make it to the bottom of that ladder the others escaped down the tunnel we were gonna follow we know where they're going the marine exhibit that's where laura would take her and yoder is with them oh god if we are going to join them again, that is where we have to go. The quickest way we can. You're right. We should be able to make better time over land. Can you get us there? Uh, it must be to the north. Near the outlet of the river. A big river? With many falls? Yeah, the big river. Okay, good. That's something. Let me get my bearings, and we'll figure out how to get there. For el amor de Dios. Do you know where we are? Let me think. It's been so long. This is my first time back on the island in nearly 12 years. Engine has changed it so much. Nima, this island. There's more to it, isn't there? To you, I mean. Yes. It is very dear to me. Tell me. I grew up here, you know? Below those trees, my people were fishermen. We would make our homes near the water during the fishing season. I love the water. I would swim in the ocean. So far. That's why my father called me Nima. I see now. You and your family used to live on this island? My family. Everyone. My whole tribe. This had been our home for thousands of years. I could go anywhere. Run in the jungle. Climb the trees. These monsters. There was never anything like them on this island before. It was all very peaceful before Injun bought the island from Costa Rica. What does your name mean? It means little fish. You know, like uh, the ones that have so many colors. I didn't realize this island had been inhabited before. Injun moved your people? They promised us homes and medicine. Education. They didn't keep their promise. I guess from your point of view they did. But the homes were slums and the medicine was extra or half used or contaminated. We had schools but no teachers. The island is so different now. I know the island. It's part of me. But 
when Injun came to the island, important men from Costa Rica came and asked my father to go back with them. They wanted my father to make a good impression, so that Costa Rica could ask Injun for a good deal of money for our island. When he was in Costa Rica, he was asked to cut his hair and wear a suit, so that he wouldn't seem simple to the Injun people. Spared no expense. Hammond. The man who made all this. He runs Injun. It's something he always says. He'll spend whatever it takes to make the park a success. So, he spent it all on the dinosaurs. Not on my people. I felt as I feel now. My father was different. I knew him, but some part of him had been lost. I'm sure it was a very difficult time for your father. I know he wanted what was best for our people. He was too trusting. They took advantage of him. My father was an Awa, a spiritual healer. He sang for Sibo, who created the Earth. He was very important to our tribe. But after we left the island, he would not keep up the old traditions. He was always unhappy. I don't want to seem indifferent, but I really need to find Jess. <laughs> You're right. I'm not always so, como se dice, uh, talkative. Fine. Let's get moving then. All right, Jerry. Enough talk. You know where we are? I have a good idea. It's a difficult hike. Do you feel rested? Hungry. A little thirsty, but I, I just want to get to Jess. Good. Hello? That was actually the call of a whooping swan. Dinosaurs shared many features with modern day birds. For instance, we now know that many theropod dinosaurs from the Jurassic period's vocal organs are just like modern birds. We are arriving at the fourth of seven lookouts along the tour. Your Jurassic Park tour vehicle will stop for five minutes to let you stretch your legs and take photographs of our animals. Next stop, the Jurassic Park Marine Facility and Aquarium. Would you look at this? They look like feeder tanks. This could be a hatchery. A hatcher what? They're raising these fish to feed another animal. Like at Marine World. Like the killer whales? Precisely. That's a lot of fish. How many whales are they feeding? I don't know. It looks like each of these tanks could feed three or four orcas per day. Oh, well, you're a fish expert now. I can make an educated guess. Look, there's a sign over there. It looks like a schedule or something. This is a hatchery. That's the stocking schedule for the tanks. Some tells me these fish aren't for feeding whales, huh, Doc? Hold up. All clear. Dad! Jess! Oh, thank God! Are you okay? Are you hurt? No, I I'm okay. Just, can we go home now? I'm so glad you two are safe, Jerry. How did you manage to get here? We climbed out of the tunnels through a service hatch near one of the tour routes. Luckily, someone left the tour program running. Thanks. You mean... Dr. Sorkin, the phones are not working. I'm sorry? There is no dial tone. You said the phones would be working here. That's odd. My control terminal showed that the main lines here were active. Unless... Of course. Everything is controlled by the computer systems, even the phones. If the power outage outlasted the battery backups, then the system is probably just waiting to be booted up. Get us to the phones, Doc. We don't have a lot of time. 
Mr. Yoder, I refuse to be pushed around by you any longer. Look, this isn't a day trip. If we don't contact InGen and get another helicopter out here for you all, the next flight over the island is gonna be a wing of B-52s carrying holy hellfire. What? That's right, Doc. We're gonna murder all your precious little pets and sink this island into the Pacific. Dios mio! That's what you meant by Ground Zero? Yeah, that's right. Why didn't you tell me earlier? This is my home! What do you mean, your home? I didn't tell you earlier because I thought we'd be off the island by now. This island is the ancestral home of her people. Wait, what is Dr. Sorkin doing? Laura? Wait, what are you... Where is she going? I don't know. This rotunda, it's where the control room is. She's going to the phones without us. Damn it, get that elevator back up here! Oh, they've really made a lot of progress in construction here. Paleozoic, huh? Well, most of the specimens here aren't really from the Jurassic period anyway. Ah, Paleozoic. From oldest to newest. Cambrian, Ordovician, Silurian, Devonian, Carboniferous, Permian. What is that supposed to be? I don't know. It looks like a Mosasaur. Mosa what? It looks kind of scary. Well, it's sort of a, a sea lizard of sorts. You think of a um, big moray eel with a crocodile head. Croco eel? Great. Sounds charming. Don't worry. There are no sea creatures on my list of park animals. Then what are all the feeder fish for? Feeder fish? Yeah, we came through a big room filled with tanks of fish. Laura said they were for feeding other animals, like whales. Hmm. Well, let's not jump to any conclusions. How are you holding up, Jess? I can't stop shaking. I'd literally rather be back in jail for shoplifting. I'm just so tired of running, Dad. I know, I know, me too. But we're safe for now. Interesting concept. Living fossils. I guess you can't expect a mosquito to feed on fish swimming hundreds of meters under the sea. This little pool's cool. Were these creatures all cloned like the dinosaurs? No, these aren't actually extinct animals, Jess. They live in the oceans today. They're called living fossils because they haven't evolved much from the ancient fossil forms discovered by paleontologists. Oh, is that a horseshoe crab? Could be. To be honest, I don't really know all that much about sea fauna. <laughs> fauna. I'll be over by the info desk, okay? Yeah, Dad. Information. Sure could use some now. Huh. Very clever. Looks like they're using numbers from the dates of the Paleozoic Era as daily key codes. Okay. So the plaque for the Paleozoic Era preceded the oldest period at the display. Maybe the sequence doesn't start at the beginning of the week. Today is Saturday. I need Friday's code. There's enough here for me to deduce the order, if I can just recall the order of the display. Paleozoic, Cambrian, Ordovician, Silurian, Devonian, Carboniferous, Permian. I'll be over by the info desk, okay? Yeah, Dad. Oh, what is that mnemonic? Um, camels often sit down carefully. Perhaps they're... Yada, yada, yada. Oh, good. Instructions. Insert operator's key into key slot. Okay. Etc. Etc. Code expires in 24 hours. Morning operations reset procedure. Turn key counterclockwise to input notch and hold for three seconds. Keypad will reset and beep three times. Turn key clockwise to reset. Enter previous code, then new code. Huh, 
That's easy enough. I'll be over by the info desk, okay? Yeah, Dad. Permian. Sounds right. Okay. Best guess. Turn key to input, hold for three seconds, turn to reset, then enter old code followed by a new code. Input, hold, reset, code. New code. Let's keep it simple. <gasps> hey, don't open that. Are you crazy? Someone will see. Relax. See what? Damn it, you careless idiot. Uh, what was that thing? Some kind of spy gear? Yeah, that's right. Top secret. In fact, if you tell anyone about it, I'll have to kill you. You won't lay a finger on her. I was just kidding around. Everyone, I got the elevator working. <sighs> about time. What's going on here? Nothing. We're all cool. Over it. Let's go. We don't got all day. 